Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be catching creek chubs with Frayville minnow traps. I'm uh, not sponsored by Frayville, but uh, they just make a really nice minnow trap. They're really inexpensive. They're about $13 a piece. You can get them all over the internet, Walmart, um, Cabela's, Amazon all sell these things. They come in black and they also come in silver. Really the only difference is the black ones have uh, like a plastic coating over all the pieces that kind of takes away some of the sharp edges that are on the silver ones. Um, I don't really think there's a big difference as far as uh, how many minnows or creek chubs they catch. Uh, there's a bunch of videos out there that uh, do experiments in my own experiments. They are consistently inconsistent as far as which one catches more. So I really don't think there's a big difference in the color to the fish. Uh, it just seems to be luck of the draw. So. I, I generally prefer the black ones just because there is less sharp edges uh, than on the silver ones, but that's really the only difference. They both work really well. They come with these little clips that clip the two halves together, uh, and then I attach a uh, paracord just to give me something to uh, retrieve the, the minnow traps with. Uh, you can get 50 feet of paracord at Home Depot for a few bucks, and I just cut it in half and attach it to the clips. Um, initially, I, I bought bright red, uh, so that it would be easier for me to find it when I come back uh, and then my minnow traps started disappearing. So now I've gone with a more uh, natural color so that uh, other people that are walking by are less likely to see them and steal my traps. Uh, if you're going to a place that you're confident nobody else is going, then uh, the red or uh, any bright color is nice because it makes it easier to find your bait traps in the water or uh, in the brush. Uh, we're also going to be using an old five gallon paint bucket and uh, Flambeau makes these uh, these bait lids for specifically for five gallon paint buckets and it basically turns an old bucket into a uh, live well or a bait bucket. Uh, the, the lid opens up halfway so you can get to your bait without taking the whole lid off because it, it fits really snug. There's holes for uh, aerator tubes and uh, a holder for uh, your minnow net as well. As far as baiting these guys, generally we use uh, either stale bread or old dog food or cheap dog food or a combination of both. Um, we've had success using both of those options uh, before. And it's, when we're going to the creeks, we're looking for deeper pools, uh, not really the shallow rocky areas, but the deeper pools is generally where uh, you're gonna find more creek chubs and higher concentrations of them. And then you just wanna drop this guy into the pool uh, parallel with the current so that the current flows through it versus pushing against it and pushing it you know, downstream. Creek chubs make really good forage for bass. We have about an acre and a half pond at our house and we're trying to make it uh, the best bass fishing pond that we possibly can. So from time to time we'll go catch creek chubs and stock them into the pond just to give the bass uh, something else to, to snack on. Creek chubs generally don't reproduce in ponds, but uh, they do grow up to 12 inches in length, and uh, hopefully the bats are eating them before they get quite that size. So we're going to go out to three different spots on three different creeks around uh, where I live, and uh, two of the spots I've used multiple times and I always have success at. The third spot is a new spot we're going to try. Um, they're all pretty much in the same general area, and I have a feeling we'll have pretty good success at all three spots. Uh, it's November right now. Uh, when we went out, it was nice and sunny. Uh, we left the minnow traps out for about two hours, and in that time, we had a really strong storm. Uh, luckily, the minnow traps didn't go anywhere, but the water did get churned up a lot. Uh, it didn't really seem to have any effect on our success rate, though. So without further ado, the boys and I are going to go out to a couple spots and see what we can catch. Thanks for checking out the video.
try to take the best of me. Go away! No! Two hours later.